Happy Thursday morning. We are seeing some snow this morning in some areas, but mostly those clouds and snow showers are going to move out later on this afternoon, making way for sunshine. And we're also going to see more clouds build up later on this evening with possibly some more snow showers as well. Today's highs, we're seeing temperatures in the 40s and 30s here. 38 in Lewistown, topping off at 39 in Cupbank, 47 in Helena, and 36 is a high today in Haver. So with these continued temperatures that are above freezing, we have been seeing lots of snow melt. We still do have flood advisories in effect here, and here's a very cool video that was sent in um, yesterday of the Ponderé Creek. This was shot from a drone, so pretty neat and it's just showing those flood flooding effects that are going on from all of this snow melt but if you come across a road with flooding turn around don't drown it's very important most uh, f flood deaths occur in the car tonight's lows we are getting back down into the 20s and 30s some, some areas will go back below freezing 25 in jordan 29 in great falls and 30 in Cutbank. So temperatures are coming that are colder as well as more snow heading in. Here's Friday morning. We are seeing that snow starting to head in and um, it's really going to start off as a mixed precipitation or rain before transitioning to all snow once temperatures start to drop and it's going to become pretty widespread in the evening here and going to also continue overnight into Saturday morning. So here's our snow forecast Friday through Saturday. It's not going to be a huge storm, at least not here in the valleys and plains. We could see a few inches though. So winter is not yet over one to three inches in Great Falls as well as in Cupbank, Helena, and Haver. Three to five inches expected in Lewistown and generally less than one inch in Glasgow and Jordan. But we will see higher mounts along the Continental Divide and in the mountains and higher trains as per normal, what we usually see. And we'll keep you updated throughout the rest of the day today and tomorrow on this snow event.